Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're going to do a Azazel run right now. I just finished up recording the greed mode run of who the hell did we do? Samson, that's who we did. Part of what made it so easy. Two of diamonds to start is pretty good, so we'll carry that with us. Uh, but I wanted just a quick and easy run, basically. There was no way in hell that we were getting out of those bombs. I just wanted a quick and easy run that we could go through as Azazel. We have to go to the... I don't know where we want to go. We need to go to the dark room with him? I think. <laughs> I think we have to go to the dark room. So we'll go to the dark room with him. Uh, we could have fought the boss there, but we do want to find our item room. We also want to get a bomb to get that uh, spirit heart. Hopefully that's in that tinted rock. Or small rock. Small rock would also be acceptable. Azazel is one of those characters that you can just basically do a speed run with, so that's kind of what I'm hoping to do, just get a quick easy one out of the way, but who knows what'll happen. Uh, nickel is fine, not to be confused with a nipple, which would be a little weird to get right now. That chest will hopefully have a dime in it. Okay, it didn't. That's fine. We'll go to our... Okay, little Gertie, that's not awful. We could pop two of diamonds and go to our shop. Is that something that sounds like a good idea to everybody here? Uh, okay, well, which one is our shop? I'm going to go with this one is our shop. We walk in. It's not our shop. Good. Uh, but we will take Anarchist Cookbook, actually, because that allows us to, in all seriousness, hopefully get this uh, tinted rock right here. Hopefully. Of course not. Why would that work how I wanted it to? Okay, let's try this again. Head back. Is it worth it to get this? Yes, it is. So, you know, don't even judge me here. I do want to go to our shop, too. Let's pop it on... Let's actually pop it right here. I couldn't get it to there. Okay, I'm going to stop trying that, because that's stupid. Uh, we do need two of diamonds here. If the shop is good, I'm going to pop two of diamonds and buy the item. If it's not good, then we're not going to pop the sh uh, Okay, Diplopia is good. So we pop two of diamonds. We take Diplopia. And then I'm not going to do anything else except for buy a bomb. We'll use Diplopia when it seems necessary. Uh, I think that it might be a good idea to use Diplopia to get free deal with the devil items on the next floor. Uh, it's a shame we don't have a key, but I don't care. I think we'll use Diplopia to get the free deal with the devil items, because chances are our health is going to be not low, but like not enough to take multiple deals. So hopefully we get multiple deals, and then we can pop uh, Thingamajiggy to get them. Magic Mush is great. Gives us red health to also gamble, deal with the devils with, but uh, I'd rather just use Diplopia to do that. If our shop is, you know, extraordinarily good and we don't have the money, then I'll use Diplopia there. I like Diplopia. It's a cool item. Many uses that you can come up with uh, and see what we can do. Uh, okay, well, a uh, bomb is definitely in order now. And there's another battery. We had a lot of batteries in this run already. Our pill is a speed down, which hurts, but it doesn't. It's not the end of the world because Azazel has pretty fast speed to start, plus the flying helps with maneuverability. I was always good at maneuverability when I was taking my driving test. Like, I'd never actually failed maneuverability. I just always passed it and then got to my driver's test and passed it again. Because the driving system is stupid and I have to take 4 million classes on how to drive before I can actually drive. And then once I can actually, you know, get my license and drive, you still have to do jump through hoops in order to drive by yourself. Have a parent with you. Have this with you. Have that with you. Get a temps. Get a real license. Get a fake license. Get a fake ID. Go to clubs. Wh whatever you really want to do. Do a clubs. We're going to pop that. And then we'll take Bible Tract with us, even though, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what it does. Trinkets aren't my strong suit. Although I wanted to make a top 10 trinket video... So, trinkets will be my strong suit uh, pretty soon. Can we get any flies over there? We got some. More health is great. Another health there. And this room's done. We still have an item room to get to, correct? Yeah, we'll come to our shop. Uh, is it worth it to do this here? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it might be. 
I want to fight our boss first. It's Monstro. Uh, if we don't get a deal with the devil here, I basically paralyzed myself and couldn't move my computer anymore. So, he's done. We'll get a deal. We also get a speed up, which is good. Our deal has basically nothing. So maybe this is a run where we try and pull Mega Satan out of our butt and see what happens. We'll use Diplopia in here, get all of this. Chaos card makes Hush now a huge possibility. Bombs are key is actually fine in my books. But Chaos card makes Hush a possibility. Go down there, do we have to do Hush? No, we don't have to do Hush, but we can. We'll head to our item room. Another Tinted Rock in here. The floor of Tinted Rocks, they're small rock, I'm happy about that. And then we get Lazrags, okay. Uh, on the off chance that we die, we'll have a second chance here. So, I, this run is starting to become, you know... I, I don't want to say where Azazel runs never look winnable, because in all honesty, Azazel runs are always winnable. But, it's definitely looking like this one could be... We have the health for it, we have the safety for it. We already have a built-in uh, two free items, four free chests because of the hush fight without any fear of taking damage. So I'm starting to think that we might be in the clear in this run. We just gotta play not stupid. I'm really surprised that that wasn't the direction we were going. Just don't play stupid and we'll be fine. Uh, I could be utilizing little Gertie better, but it's little freaking Gertie. I don't really have a reason to try to utilize it better. Stupid damage right there. Is it worth it to go to our cursed room? It probably is, but you know, I, I'm kind of in a lazy mood. That's why I did a Zazel run, so I don't really care enough to go to it. We'll head this way, and you know, stop on that. Bloody Penny. Sure. No, that's a stupid thing to even pick up. Because when we're only on one red health, what's the point in getting more red hearts? That point is, uh, there is no point. That was kind of the point that I was trying to make by saying, what's the point? It was a rhetorical question because I already knew what the point was. I was just asking you to clarify for me. Here's our item room. Give me a rune. Uh, okay, good. Good talk. I'm glad we had it. Okay, almost missed him. Get him and get him. Cool. Our rune is a Degas. We'll pop it right away. Come in here and it's freaking Holy Mantle. Okay, so in case this run... uh wasn't one then it's definitely one now <laughs> and we're gonna be absolutely fine going all the way to the end now we'll head to our secret room grab two bombs and then get out no need to go to our shop in my own honest opinion because uh we don't have the money to do anything really in there we could pick up the spirit heart but with the rate that we're getting spirit hearts honestly what's the point again that time it was more me just saying uh what is the actual point because i don't know not a rhetorical question that I already knew the point to. Uh, that was Holy Mantle being Holy Mantle there. We did get a deal, and we will trade it away for a guppy item. Okay, we now have enough survivability to basically never die on this run. Lazrags is completely useless now, and everything is happy. We're going to go to our library only because something like Book of Belial could send us over the edge. Oh, it's a double key room, so it's not a library, it's more a uh, room that we can just get a ton of crap in. And it's a huge donation machine, so I'm not going to use a donation machine, I'm going to take the money, and then we'll see if our shop needs it. But this could be the kind of run where since we already basically have a winnable run, we don't bother to buy anything from the shop, and instead we just donate. Because I'd still like to get our donation machine up to $9.99 as soon as possible because then we can not feel bad about breaking into it. We will do this just because, I mean, why the hell not? It's free bombs. And it's worth it to check this. Not worth it to do it. So, good talk. Our item room will be down this way. And at this point, I'm kind of expecting to see, like, Polyphemus in there because our items have been uh, pretty lucky so far. Not even our items, just our entire run has been lucky. Uh, Mysterious Liquid, I'm not sure how well it totally synergizes with this. Okay, that's fine. That's the only problem with Azazel's Brimstone. It really doesn't synergize with anything. And it makes Azazel kind of boring to play because you just, you look for damage and you look for health. You don't look for any f cool, weird 
uh, synergies. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Blank card, chaos card. That's a new one for me. So basically we're going to one-shot every boss in the game, which is uh, even better for getting a speed run going. So that's fine. Uh, do we even bother one-shotting the hollow? Okay, I totally tossed that in the wrong direction. Maybe I... Okay, we took PJs. Uh, that's probably what I would have wanted anyway. I forgot we picked up uh, more options. There's options. All the options. Something like that. Where are we going? We're going left. I suppose we could just, like, <laughs> pop the stupid chaos card on random <laughs> enemies. That's probably the one thing that nobody ever would do. But, you know, nonchalantly pop chaos card on a poop. <laughs> That'd be funny. We get Strange Attractor, which is not something I'm willing to risk the run to pick up. Like, honestly, this is the kind of run where when you have trash items, it's not worth it to pick up the trash items just to prove a point to people. No need to do that room either, because we don't have the keys for it. Uh, now we have the keys for it, but my care is already gone, so no need to go back. This is the kind of room that is much easier with flying, so that's fine. Here, blank card. Okay, it's always going to toss to the right, or to the left. I've now learned that. Maybe it's whatever direction I'm facing when I pop. Uh, I suppose that's how it works normally, so I should have known that. We'll try it again on the boss. Really, I just want to get it figured out before we get to uh, Hush. We'll go to our shop again. Hive Mind, I guess, is worth it to pick up, only because the Guppy Dream is alive with nine lives. So I suppose having Hive Mind makes the run even more overpowered late game. I didn't need to tell you that we're doing fine on time, but we are doing fine on time, and we'll make Boss Rush. So if we can get a teleport out of Boss Rush in the way of a Stars card or a... A uh, hermit card or a fool card where we can leave behind the chaos card and then go into boss rush and be fine that talk about the stupidest damage i can take on this floor i took it on a piece of poop should have used blank card chaos card on it man okay we'll take uh we're we're gonna wait on deciding that we'll come in here we'll take guppy's paw uh that makes the guppy dream even more alive and then we'll come out here and honestly the charge on our brimstone is pretty good so i'm gonna take hp there that probably is a decision that not many people would have taken, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, up should be the way to go. The damage is good, uh, but I mean, we can always use some more damage. No need for that. We'll pop that and get Poker Chip, which I don't care for. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, obviously sure, because we have Holy Mantle. And this is an opportunity for us to get something really, really good. So we're going to go for it. Stigmata's really, really good. Spoonbender doesn't work with the Zazel's Brimstone. And there's freaking Robo Baby. Chemical Peel, sure. Maybe Stigmata's better than Chemical Peel, but I mean, we're out of money, so who cares? Okay, let's test this here. So if we use. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I was going to use our Blank Card Chaos card and see what happened, but we'll test that on another room. I see no reason for us to go to our shop. Just going to disappoint me if we can't get anything. I suppose we have enough bombs to bomb our donation machine, but that's kind of missing the point of what we're doing here. Okay, a lot of dumb damage taken there. Where the hell... Oh, it's up here. Okay, we took like a heart and a half damage on that room, so that was awful. Okay, this is mom. We toss... Okay, Chaos Card just flies wherever the hell it wants. <laughs> so... Maybe we just use Chaos Card on the ha uh, on the Haunt. Yeah, use it on the Haunt. Just use it on the Hush, and then we'll use Blank Card for something different in the uh, old future. Where are we going with him? We're going to the Dark Room. We're going to the Dark Room. We're going to the Dark Room. Where are we going, Tyler? The Dark Room. And we're freaking Guppy. So, hey, why the hell not? We also have Insane Flies that do crazy damage. So, this run is just out of control right now. Uh, if something is good enough in here, eh, is anything really good enough? We've already done boss rush. I see no reason for us to do that. Let's just go down. We'll make this a super speed run. Maybe we can be done in under 20. That'd be insane. And fight Hush. That would be really insane. Uh, there's a dice room up there, but I just realized that 
I seriously have no reason to even go to the dice room. So if it's not on the way to our boss, which it isn't, we're just going to turn around and go. There is a mini boss. Uh, I'm honestly not too excited about that either. At this point, I just kind of want to speedrun this. So let's do it. I do want to get the keys, though, for the hush fight. So keys are going to be valuable. In that case, I probably should have popped that uh, sack, too. But let's just go. Mr. Fred, pop that. Okay, that did work. So maybe, maybe, I don't really know what's going on, but that time it worked. This time we'll pick up the HP, I guess, and then we'll head here and get a Thame. Not my favorite item, but it'll work. We did that floor in like 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Another dice room on this floor. That's really interesting. We are going to go down to Hush, and we are going to go to the dark room after Hush. Did everybody hear me? We're going to the dark room after Hush. After Hush, we're going down to the dark room. That is the room that is dark, which is where we're going after the Hush fight. Okay. One more key would have been ideal, so you know what? I'm going to take the time, just, you know, do a couple other rooms, look for one more key. Seven is what makes the place really good, but the chance of getting a key in the shop is probably pretty high. So we can hope for the best. Let's just go. If we need to, we won't pop a, uh... A... Wow. <laughs> Good talk. Good. Let's go. We are going to use the Chaos card here, just because the chance of uh, missing... Although I suppose we can attempt first with a blank card, and then use it regular if we miss. Uh, that is... Something? What is that? Lusty Blood. Yeah, Lusty Blood's good. Lusty Blood's really good. Uh, we'll probably never get a great use out of it, but that's fine. We're gonna take Fear Shot, I guess, and then let's go to our shop where there is no key, which is fairly ironic, and then really honestly nothing we want, so we'll pop these three. We did get a golden key from that. We also get a uh, golden bombs for the floor, which makes me really wish that I picked up sad bombs. We get enough keys to open that as well. And then we also get enough money to buy something from our shop, which we're going to do a Spirit Heart. We're going to buy this card, which is the Lovers, which is crap. And this is a Balls of Steel pill. No, it's not. It's a Tears Up. Okay, fine. <laughs> no complaints there. Come in here. Just wipe out first phase. Okay, get out of my way. Wipe out him. And then... We face this direction, and we pop that. That kills him. We can hold on to Chaos Card for the rest of the time. We're going down to the dark room. I did it right. Ah, uh, praise Allah. Praise Allah? Not quite what I was going for. Okay. Where are we off to? We're off to the left. It, very, very possible we're going to finish this in under 20. And that would make me incredibly happy, because I have not had an under 20 run on this channel, and I have not had one on this account. I had one on the PS4, but, you know, it really doesn't matter anymore, does it? This is a lot of BS, but that's fine. You're ruining my chances! Oh, thank you, uh, Curse of the Suck, for actually doing something good for once. I guess I could have popped Blank Card right there and, uh, defeated him right away, but... Man, what's the point? We're just flying at this point. Go. Go. Uh, thank you for teleporting me right in front of the boss. That uh, helps a lot. We're totally going to do this. Under 20. It could be under 18, really. Good. That was great damage. I'm proud of it. Okay. Good. And then we'll attempt to use our uh, blank card here. Okay, totally shot in the wrong direction, but really, what the hell does it matter? Let's go! We got three and a half minutes. We unlocked the uh, Demon Tail Trinket. There we go. Cool. I'm not too happy about that. Like, I don't really care, is the point I'm getting at. Uh, do we take Cursed Eye? No, we don't. Which way are we going? This way. Hive Mind on that just, like, whim of a chance of us getting the Guppy Dream to be alive was... In all honesty, the greatest pickup in the history of uh, Isaac. Because these flies... Honestly, it's, our brimstone is good, but it's the flies that are carrying us. So it's really just the guppy dream. 
Always alive. In our hearts. Okay. Mask of Infamy sucks but but it's gonna be fine because look at that, we're done already. Back this way. I would really love the under 18 if we can uh, swing this. What's down here? Another one of you? Okay, see ya. Let's go, let's go, let's go! It's still alive, still alive. Just kill him, go! You're dead. You're dead. Come on, let's go, let's go! Die faster. Don't crash, game. That would be, basically, I would cry so hard if we crashed. Good. Okay. Just don't go down. Don't, don't go down. Okay, we're gonna do it. We got this in the bag. Oh, what? I used it. It didn't kill him. Okay, we got an 18 minute run. Okay, I think, I think that's, uh... <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's all I'll say. So if you enjoyed this run, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Demon Baby, there we go. Get excited about that. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!